Hi everyone, I am uh, Anas Sharawi, a PhD student from Geology and Sustainable Mining of Mohammed VI Polytechnic University in Morocco. Actually, I am working on applied geophysics. So today I am here to present the results of our first phase of our thesis research project, which is contribution of the analysis of borehole gravity and VOS data in the study of the geological structures of the Bahia Basin in Morocco. So subsurface geophysical imaging is an efficient tool for the recognition of sedimentary basins at different scales. The integration of subsurface and surface geological information has clear amplification for geological modeling and resource exploration. The high resolution seismic method is one of the most commonly used techniques for imaging the subsurface. So this work is concerned with the study of the Bahia Basin, which hosts some of the most important phosphate deposits of Morocco. The present study represents the first step of our thesis research project. It is concerned with the, the compilation of geophysical and geological information about the Bahia Basin through the analysis of the available data. Its main purpose is to have a good knowledge of the geology of this basin and to identify the areas that should be targeted by the high resolution seismic surveys. The Bahia Plain is located in central Morocco. It extends over an area of about uh, 5 thousand kilometers square between 3155 and 3220 north latitudes and between 715 and 850 west longitudes. The Bahia Basin is part of the Western Mesita structure domain of Morocco. From geological point of view, it constitutes a sedimentary cover made of secondary to Quaternary deposits lying on a Paleozoic bedrock. The latest study, the little stratigraphic series of the Bahia Basin, presents a progressive transition from the Paleozoic to the Quaternary. It particularly includes the Maastrichtian to Eocene phosphatic series, which outcrops in the northern border of this basin, where it is currently exploited in open pit mines. The methodological approach consists in the analysis and the interpretation of available borehole and geophysical data in the eastern part of the Bahia. For the borehole data, little stratigraphical data from exploration boreholes carried out in the eastern Bahia basin were used to establish correlation sections in this study. For geophysical data, the Eastern Bahia Basin has been the subject of numerous geophysical surveys, among which the most known are the, the regional gravity and vertical electrical sanding VOS coverage. This gravity survey was conducted by the Moroccan Ministry of Energy and Mines for mineral exploration purpose. However, the VOS survey was carried out by the Tensive Basin Hydraulic Agency within the framework of hydrogeological investigation project. The data recorded during these two geophysical campaigns are analyzed in this study. Here are some results of our study. The figure shown here is the gravity map of the Bahia Basin. It provides a general view of the gradual increase of the sedimentary cover thicknesses toward the south of the basin. The various results highlight the thickness changes of the EU formations, which are ranges between 50 and 290 uh, mera. The these thicknesses changes are also highlighted by the borehole results as shown here, the thickness changes of the Eocene formations, which are 
deposited either on the Sinonian miles or directly on the Paleozoic trails. They particularly show an increase in the thickness of the Eocene formations as we move eastward. These results also describe the synclinal aspect of the Pleoquaternary deposits, which have a significant thickness in the center of the basin. So the study provides a better understanding of the geological context of the Bahia Basin based on combined analysis of gravity, electrical, and boreholes data. It also provides precision about deep structure of the phosphatic series of the Bahia Basin in terms of deepening and thickness lateral change. These results would help to identify the areas that should be targeted by the high resolution seismic surveys. And here are some references for further information. And thank you for your intention.